and welcome to Buckman's Model Mania. Today, we're going to be working on stage 14 of the Batmobile from the 1966 TV series. This is released by Fan Homes and Diagostini. So let me get the parts open, and before I go any further, I want to point out where I came, where my error was on this pulley. Because the pulley actually does turn. I put it on backwards. I'm not the only one. A friend of mine said that he had some problems. He mentioned it in his video, which I didn't get a chance to watch yet, that he sanded it down. But if you look at the pulley stack, the wider pulley is supposed to be in the back. And it actually shows that in the instructions. But it also says in the instructions the pulleys are numbered 1 through 5, which they aren't. They're all numbered 3. So if you have problems getting this part on, hopefully you're gonna, you'll are gonna you see this before you make the same mistake I did. If you have tr problems getting this on or getting it to fit right, put, reverse your pulley stack. Truly, that's the fix. Reverse your pulley stack. Hopefully you haven't broken the post off like I did. I broke the post off. I glued it back in place. It works. I'm going to press on. I'm not going to bug Diag or Fan Home for a replacement uh, front of the crankcase there. Not that worried about it. This will be under the hood. Probably will never see it again. So I just figured I'd point that out. Error of my ways. Error of other people's ways. But not the end of the world and the engine I would love to have a turbine instead of the uh, V8 because that's what Canon would have been if it was a real car. Okay so let's get to the parts for this stage. We have more RP screws. We have some BP screws and a bunch of parts inside here. Bunch of little rubber bands I see there for 14M. Those are going to be the pulleys, and those are what may break the post off in, my, in front of my engine. If it does break off while the engine is still out of the car, then I will probably go back and talk to Fan Home and see if I can get a replacement pack. I don't really want to go back that far and take the engine all the way apart, especially if I have to wait, which I will, for almost a month to get the parts in. So we got AM and UP screws. There are two, three belts. We have four, well, I'm going to leave them all in here. We have a bunch of pulleys, a bunch of some silver parts. The flat fan is actually in, well, it looks like three parts, maybe more. But let's go ahead and get building. So the first thing it does, powers, you secure the power steering pump. Brackets, 14G and H together using an AM screw. This, I believe, is going to be, doesn't feel like metal, but yeah, this should, this should be the part, the uh, part that goes in the back here, got a hole here, a hole here, this is going to go across like that, and there are two locating pins, kind, kind of, you see the pin there, in here to keep you from putting them in or putting the uh, part on incorrectly. Get a screw out. We'll dip it in the oil. There is only two AM screws in here, so the second one is a spare that can be put off to the side. Dip it in the oil here. Put it through this first piece. And then holding it on there actually put it into this piece or drop everything whichever is your choice try this again kind of got it lined up there dipped it in the oil because it is a an am screw so it should be going into metal 
not 100% sure that's a metal part. And considering that Fan Home picked this up as part of the, okay, part of picking up the pieces of Eagle Moss, and this pin does not go up here. This pin actually goes down in this hole right there. But considering that Fan Home picked this up as part of buying out, um, Eagle Moss after it went um, belly up. This piece looks to me like one of the things that Eagle Moss would do, which would pad their builds with extra pieces. Neither here nor there. We have the build. I'm very happy to have the build. So now we're going to look at the power steering pump, the cover, and power steering pump itself. Just trying to figure out which is which. Are they, they are going to be these silver pieces here? Which it is keyed. You got some detail spots outside. You got a you got a key here and a keyway in here. So this is going to go in here only one way, like this. And the screw, a BP screw, is going to go in from the back side. There's only one BP screw, so that screw will be, the second screw will be a, um, there's only one BP screw needed. There's two, part, two screws themselves. The second one will be a spare. Drop that in back there. Make sure this, the keyway is lined up. And mainly the key way is to keep your details on the outside looking right. Come on, get in that hole. Put it in, put the screw in, tighten it all the way down. And then we're going to take this post here. We're going to put the post through the bracket, like the bracket or the arm like that. We're going to take 14K which is power steering pump pulley. So we need to find one that looks like a pulley. Just looking. I don't find one that looks specifically like a pulley, but That's going to be too big. That's probably it right here. That looks like it should be it. Unfortunately, there are no letters or numbers on these. It's going to go on here like that. We're going to grab an RP screw. Out of here. Put it in there. It is a flange screw, by the way. I'm going to put it through this pulley. I'm going to tighten it down until it's snug. When it's snug, I need to make sure that. Hang on. Let me loosen it back up because my pump is a little bit a kilter. There, that's correct. It had popped up, it had rotated a little bit, so it was wrong. Now it's in the right spot. Oh, this T fixture, fixture, whatever you want to call it, that sticking up. And the pulley moves a little bit. And we're going to take 14L, which should be this silver cap here. What is that? That is the power steering reservoir. And so that's going to go on there like that. And we're going to turn the page. We're going to find that we have two UP screws here. So 
going into plastic. Those UP screws are going to, and there's only one left after that. UP screws are going to hold these this on. Did I just knock that loose? No. And they're going to go into these holes on the front of the uh, water pump through these holes here. I'm going to do what I've done before and drop the screw on the floor. Not, not really. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this set up so that hopefully I can put one screw in while holding this whole thing together. Get that screw lined up as, or that hole lined up as best I can. Have the screw fall over on the screwdriver. Narrating my actions as I go. Come on, line it. There we go. There's the first one started. Let's get the second one started. bit easier because I don't have to hold the parts in place. I don't have to hold that bracket in place. Just having to hold the engine. And then we're going to tighten this down. Switch screwdrivers to the bigger screwdriver because it bites better. Tighten that all the way down. Tighten that all the way down. And actually I think that might have gone straight through into the uh, engine I'm not sure but there's the power steering pump and the pulley or the pulley there almost moves it's pretty firm in place and so the next thing we're going to do is carefully wrap the first belt 14 m around power steering pulley and the third crankshaft pulley in the front so we're going to take this belt. I'm going to actually put it on here first. I'm going to put it on the third one. Wrap it around here. Get it twisted. Mainly, I just don't want it twisted. It is only on here for show. It's not going to actually do anything. And there's the first belt in place. And I don't think it's twisted, but it might be. If it is, not a big deal. And my fix with the super glue worked. This pulley, though, let's just loosen that hair and see if it'll hold something. There we go. think that I just took all the twists out of that belt. Let's turn the page. And so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take, I believe this is 14C. No, that's not 14C. It's this. Yes, this is 14C. Let me show you how I can tell. Looking at the picture, those two grooves are there on it. And so it's going to go all the way back on the back here. Do those grooves line up with anything? It looks like they might. I don't think so. And then we're going to take 14B. Now let's see, does it have, now it does not say anything about there being numbers or anything else. However, oh, let's see, this one. Okay, these have both got a two on them. And that, those tabs should fit into the front of that pulley. They do. And then we're going to take 14A, which does not have any numbers on it. And we're going to push it on the front of here. And 
And at this point, we set this down and hope everything doesn't fall off of it. Now we're going to take the last pieces left of this. We've got fan blades A, B, and C. We put them together. Just looking to see how these go. Okay, so you have this piece here that has a cutout for this here. And then this has holes or has tabs for the slots in these back pieces. So it's going to push together. If I can get it to push together, not on the Not wanting to hold on very well. Okay, push that one on. It's actually grabbing a hold. Let's see if we can get this one to grab a hold and stay in place. Okay, so you can see there's two pieces in the back there. We've got these tabs here and here going through the front, or coming from the front, going through those pieces, there's the front of the fan, or the, uh, not fan, the, uh, yeah, actually it is the fan. It goes on there, just looking. There is a, another, there's a tab right there that has to go on a specific spot back of this fan stack, which should allow the whole thing to stay together, I think. Trying to get it lined up. It's being, and every time I touch it, well, there, that pipe fell off again. Every time I touch it, this piece moves making it a pain to actually get it lined up. Is it? Is it? Is it? It is not. Actually, it is. Stay there while I get an RP screw out. Take the RP screw out of here. Pick up the engine. Being careful not to drop things everywhere. Gently put the screw in here. And hopefully the fan is not going to just get crazy. I just realized something. With the size of this fan, are they they're going to expect us to put pulleys or the belts over top of this thing while it's in place. Which it be with it being a three-piece fan, that could get exciting. Okay, that's in, that's good. That's staying together. My guess is, I forget where this goes. <laughs> Just had a part fall off of the engine. Actually, never mind. I just looked at it and I realized where it goes. It is starter cable. My guess is that this is probably going to have to be super glued to stay in place. It is a push fit, but my guess is it's not going to stay there. Now we're going to take the second crank crankshaft and the final belt So we're going to put the last two pull belts around the fan, crankshaft, and the generator. This could be exciting. I know this is exactly how it worked in the real world, having to get that belt past the fan. Okay, we're going to get it there. 
gonna see if I can get a hold of this and hold that belt down inside the fan so that I can grab it to the bottom of the engine and hold it around to the second crankshaft. Do the same thing with the last belt. Hold it over the fan. Hold up around the pulley for the fan. It's on the generator, so let's see if we can get it around the crankshaft. Nope. It popped loose. Try this again. Get it around the generator. Let's put the back pulley on the generator. Not too far. Come on. Coaxing it. There we go. And there are all the pulleys in place. Let's put this pipe back in place. Hopefully, hopefully it won't fall out more than 50 or 60 more times. Didn't even get it in place before it fell out again. You, son, are going to get some glue before we down and there my friends is the engine for the batmobile and that's all there is to do in this stage hope you're enjoying this build there are some troubles some minor troubles with it not too bad if you're slow patient and really read actually what's in here I, that's that's my my fault i tend not to read the verbiage in here i should but it goes together relatively well Nice engine, looks pretty cool. That doesn't turn. I thought, I wasn't sure if the differential would or, or not the differential, but the uh, U-joint back here would or not. But it's going together. If you like this content, hit the bell icon to be notified of whenever I post new content. Like, subscribe, and uh, comment. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Have a great day. Have a great day tomorrow, and I will see you in the next video.